Old School Sports, y'all. That is Robert Latow. I am Rick Stroud. Mel Kuyper Jr., as we certainly do know, has been the draft guru for a long time. Yet he has given us so many flubs over the years. And I think this is the perfect time because it is NFL Draft Week to just go over some of those. Remember when he said this about a potential quarterback that the Oakland Raiders were due to select? Obviously, he'll need a little time, but you're talking about a two to three year period once he's under center. Look out because skill level that he has is certainly John L. Wayland. <laughs> he was high on Jamarcus yeah, Russell. Very high. Maybe he was high as well. Yeah. yeah. Jamarcus Russell was his uh, black Josh Allen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Great yeah, call. yeah, yeah. I mean, you mean Jamarcus could had the rocket arm, rocket was the big arm. guy. Huge. Uh, he's one of those guys where anytime here's how I can always tell you when a quarterback is going to fail in the in the NFL when the, if he's the bottom quote, heavy. When, no, not bottom heavy. When the when the when the quote unquote draft expert says, you know what he could do? He can from his knees he could throw it sixty yards. Mm. You know what happens when you're on your knees in the NFL? You're sacked. <laughs> Nobody's throwing from their knees sixty Unless yards. Unless you touched. Him. And then yeah, you can throw from your knees and make yeah. an incredible well, play. Well, there's no highlight you can show me that in is college. In, in, in ever where someone's on right. their knees right. and they make a 60 yard pass for a touchdown. Didn't Michael Vick have a Powerade commercial where he was on his knees and he threw it 60 yards? No, no, no. Yards? Well, it was oh, the, yeah, but he was like in a stadium and they kind of you know right. I think it was the at the Coliseum. They used the CGI and stuff like that. It was very Avengers. They used the CGI. They used the CGI. The CGI. The CGI. The CGI. And sure. the CGI and everything. So sure. uh, you know it. Look, anytime somebody calls themselves an expert, that always makes me think they're a little fraudulent. Okay? Because just the fact that you have to say it. So, like, how do you view people at the Apple store who are geniuses? Oh, that's even worse. That's like, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. That's terrible. If you, you don't have to say it if right. you already are. Like, if I just walked around and said, I'm handsome, I'm Rob, and I'm handsome. Right. You know what people say? Huh. Why does he keep saying that he's handsome? We can see that. Here's what Mel had to say about the one and only Johnny Manziel. <laughs> and I haven't heard Johnny Manziel. I'm guessing one of the two is your number one. Who does Houston take? I'm going to go with Johnny Manziel. And I'm going to say Johnny Manziel for this reason. When you talk to people in the league, I get a consensus on Manziel that I don't get with Bortles or Bridgewater. To me, he can be a very good to great player in the NFL. The number one pick. He wanted him to be the number one pick. The number one pick. Number one. The, listen, I don't hate And Mel. he fell in the 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really shouldn't have been that high. But I don't hate Mel Kuyper because I, I, you know, I have an appreciation for scammers. I really do. <laughs> If you can scam and finesse your way through life, I'm all for it. Which he has. I'm all for it. Yes. If it's legal, I'm not saying, you know, legal scam. Right, right, right. Not calling you on the phone yeah, and being yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 calling yeah, up your yeah, grandparents. Because look, I'm a scammer too. You know, I don't You're not do, a scam. I am a scammer. I don't How do are a, you a scammer? I don't do a lot of work. I talk about IG models and the thought to Raj. It's not like this. It's not like hard. It's not what I went to college for. When I went to college. Can you imagine if you did that? I tr- Can you, you know, imagine uh, in thoughtology? Thoughtology, right. Mel Kuyper. You know, from the beginning, it was like, you know, I'm going to be, think about it. There was never a guy that was like, I'm just going to be the draft guy. Like, that that just never happened. There was never, he's the draft guy. He's the originator of guys that said, you know something? We're going to make picks that are about 97% wrong and get paid off of it. That's the best. I don't know if there's a better scam in America. And not only that. His main claim to fame was causing a fight with Bill Tobin. Yeah, and they both were wrong. And they were both wrong. They were both wrong. Which we're going to get to in just a moment, <laughs> by the way. Uh, here's what he said about Deshaun Watson as well and how he fits into the NFL draft. Mm. Mel, I'm not sure Mitch Trubisky could, could throw that game against uh, Alabama. I'm not sure Deshaun Kaiser could as well. Feels like a tough judgment on Deshaun Watson. Well, you're talking about a great college quarterback, David. Who's best equipped to be a great NFL quarterback? It's a big difference there. They were worn out, that Alabama defense. They were worn out last year. Okay, that's the difference in college football and the NFL. Deshaun Watson in the second half took advantage of that. Keep in mind, we're talking about this great game last night. The Heisman Trophy went to somebody else because the whole totality of the season was taken into context there. But right now, Mitch Trubisky's number one solidly, and then you have Kaiser, Notre Dame, Watson, Clemson. So he liked Mitch Trubisky. Trubisky. Deshaun Kaiser. Kaiser, yes. And then potentially Deshaun Watson. Potentially Deshaun Watson. Which, of course, is wrong. Uh, He also had this wrong involving Peyton Manning (laughs) and that other guy. (laughs) I really believe, Chris, when you look back at this trade, San Diego moving up from three to two, five years from now, it may not look like Bobby Beathard gave up a... 
The, the end of it, sorry I cut it off early. Uh, they, he didn't think that uh, the Chargers gave up enough in order to move up oh. to select Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf, that's with the correct. second overall pick, which of course was absolutely wrong. You mentioned uh, Trent Dilfer previously, the fight with Bill Tobin. Yes. Here's where he crapped all over the Indianapolis Colts and yes. really made a name for himself yeah. within the National Football League. Good. But the pass up of Trent Dilfer, when all you have is Jim Harbaugh, give me a break. That's why the Colts are picking second every year in the draft, not battling for the Super Bowl like other clubs in the National Football League. Uh, huh. Here's the thing. Uh, great Bill, hair. Here's the thing. Bill Tubman was right, but he was also wrong. But it, it kind of encompasses everything that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Bill Tobin is like, who the hell is Mel Kuyper? Yeah. What the hell does he know? Right. That's exactly true. That's exactly true. But he with, validated it. With that being said. Yes. What Mel Kuyper, in the instance is what he's talking about, is that Mel Kuyper doesn't know any more, any less than these teams. The teams get them wrong, Mel Kuyper get them wrong. Nobody knows. People are going to draft players. They may work out. They may not. Mm -hmm. It's all a crapshoot. And I don't know why people take it so seriously because you just don't know. A lot of things the terms don't fit, where they go, who's the coach, where the team is. Maybe Deshaun Kaiser, if he goes to someone, not the Browns, and get sit for a couple of Maybe. years. Now his, I don't want to say his career is over, but he, he like you get up At to At least there. he'll be a backup yeah. like Geno Smith. Yeah, you get a bad start to your career. Sometimes you can never shake it. Sometimes you just need an opportunity. I mean, Drew Brees didn't start off great. I was just going to say, you that's know, the name I default You know, to. Alex Smith Diego. didn't start off great. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, sometimes it could be the situation. Alex Smith has never been great. Though. But what I'm he's saying. Been, he's been good, but he's improved but since he, being he, bad. He, but he was someone that you thought maybe wasn't even going to be in the league after his first you know, yes. couple of years. But right quarterback. Mm -hmm. I mean, right coach, and then you, know, you see what happens. Last one, very yes. quickly. He loves Andre Wadsworth. Take a look. I think when you look at it, Chris, Andre Wadsworth could be the next Bruce Smith. Arizona trades down, still gets the best player on my Over Peyton Manning and Charles Woodson. Yes, very much. Wow. So.